Well, hello. Today, I'm going to give you a few tips and tools that can help your English pronunciation, okay? All right, I bet you can already figure out they have to do with Google. Google is incredible, and they have tools that we can use. So let's see. Let's say we find a word, and we're not quite sure how it's pronounced. Here's an example. All right, is it colonel? Colonel? Colonial? <laughs> Well, all we have to do is put the word meaning after it. So this word and then meaning. Then we push enter to run the search, and here it is. So we have the, it's a regular dictionary, right, with the, the part of speech, uh, pronunciation, and the definition. But there's an extra little icon here, the blue icon, and if we push it... Colonel. What? Colonel. 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 Oh, it's not colonel, it's... Colonel. Colonel. Interesting. Let's do that again. So we're at google.com. Let's say we have a longer word like deterioration. Okay. Deterioration? Deter what? I need to know how it's pronounced. All right. We put meaning after it. Push enter. Here we are again. But this time we have an even longer word. You know, how is it pronounced? Deterioration. Deterioration. Interesting. And since Google is an American company, it seems that they put the accents of their pronunciations in American English. So it's a great way to learn the American accent, okay? Deterioration. Interesting. If we want to keep going, we can just use the search box right here. Let's try another one which is often mispronounced. Is it choir? Choir. Let's find out. Choir. 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 <laughs> okay, so basically what I'm saying is the Google Dictionary is a wonderful place to get pronunciation of single words, right? But what happens if you have a full sentence and you want to know how is the full sentence pronounced? I'm glad you asked. Google is glad you asked. So we go to google.com and we look at uh, Google Translate. Ah, it's on the top. All right, Ooh. right now we enter the text, we put the, the words in, and it's going to detect the language. Detect means it's going to use all of their wonderful computer power and figure out what language we're typing in, right? And the target language right now is English, and you can change it to you know, whatever you want. It's incredible they have so many languages. Okay, so let's make a silly sentence using the words that we did before. So uh, the kernel, uh, worries about deterioration deterioration <laughs> when he's singing in his choir interesting uh-huh okay so we have the sentence and we want to hear how it sounds with in English right so here we go there's an icon here the colonel worries about deterioration when he's singing in his choir one more time. The colonel worries about deterioration when he's singing in his choir. Right. So we can kind of tell it's kind of a bit of a robotic voice, but it's pretty good. I mean, it's really good for free technology that we're able to access. It's not free for Google, but they put it out there for us to access for free. Thank you, Google. So you can put whatever you want in here. The colonel worries about deterioration when he's singing in his choir. And hear how it sounds, right? So how about this? Let's pretend that my first language is Spanish. Well, it's, a, it's, it's one of the languages I speak, but let's just pretend it's my first language. So I know how to say something in Spanish, and I kind of know how it is in English, but I want to hear the pronunciation in English. So maybe I'll put something like, uh, Tengo dos plumas. In mi bolsillo. All right, tengo dos plumas en mi bolsillo. The translation is, I have two pens in my pocket. And you can put it to whatever language you want. But here we're trying to do English pronunciation. So we had our first language, and we did Spanish. Now it's in English over here. Huh? There's another icon. We can hear it. I have two pens in my pocket. Interesting. I hope they don't break, or your pants are going to be ruined. I have two pens in my pocket. Ah, 
We can also hear it in the first language. Tengo dos plumas en mi bolsillo. Increíble! Magnifico! Maravilloso! <laughs> okay, so Google Translate is a great tool to, you know, hear the whole sentence or even the paragraph, how it sounds in English or whatever your language you're looking for. So let's clear this out and I'm going to show you one more thing that you might want to do. Let's say you're going around the internet and let's say we're looking up strange news. Right? We have a few minutes on our hand and we're just kind of looking around. So let's do strange news NPR. I like NPR. They have interesting stuff. All right. Let's see if it's going to load. Oh, maybe even better. Ripley's. All right. I'm on internet. Okay. <laughs> The New Zealand Coffin Club. One senior covered her coffin with photos of Elvis. All right. So let's take a look what that brings us to. Should have more information. Ah, so nice, so nice. So we're reading along and we're like, you know, I wonder how this sounds in English, right? I mean, I can see the words, but I want to hear it within, you know, in English. So here we go. So you can select it and I'm going to highlight it. Control C to copy it. Bring it back to Google Translate. Control V, oh, there it is, and we have the audio icon so we can listen to it. Here we go. Across the north of New Zealand, a small number of strange clubs have popped up. Members are usually elderly and have set themselves to the task of making coffins, their own coffins. That is strange. <laughs> okay, but I think you see the point that I'm getting at. You can be reading on the internet. Just highlight something and bring it back to Google Translate and then push the listen icon and you can hear it in English, right? So it's a wonderful tool. So my point is that Google is incredible. <laughs> they provide us so many tools, right? Okay, so let's just review what we've been doing. So you can use Google Dictionary if you want individual words. And I'd say this is probably the best translation because it really sounds like a native speaker. Choir. Choir. If you want like a full sentence, yes, it's kind of a robotic voice, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good for a free tool that is provided to us for free. It's not free for Google to create, but they give it to us for free. Thank you, Google. So here it's kind of robotic, but it's pretty good. And it gives you a great idea of how it's pronounced in English. Okay, so that was the tip for today on how to improve your English pronunciation. Use Google. It's a great tool. All right, see you soon.